you know, I, I, I was partly going to church to please my mum and mum and dad. They, they were ardent Christians and uh, they'd seen that my sisters had abandoned the path and um, gone in for, you know, they were listening to the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and, you know, uh, uh, things uh, like that, that, that pop, pop music. And that was preaching a different gospel to the Christian church. It was preaching the gospel of desire, of free sex, of free love, of doing what feels good. And that was anathema, of course, to the Christian churches at the time. But as, as John Lennon said when he was in bed with Yoko Ono in the Montreal Hotel, which I stayed in a few years ago. And that was, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, not in his suite because that's... In, in the same bed? <laughs> No, not in the same bed, but right. in the same hotel. He he said to one interviewer that uh, the Beatles are bigger than Jesus. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. And um, and I think that was true. I mean, what the Beatles did was totally revolutionise society. Mm-hmm. And the nineteen sixties were the was the decade which really uh, uh, which really destroyed the uh, authority of the churches and they've never recovered from it. And so, uh, for instance, when I was a, a boy, Tom, um, 40, I think it was 48% of Australians attended church on a weekly basis. That's incredible. Mm. Think of that now. And, mm. uh, today the figure is uh, about seven, six or 7% mm. attend churches and, and synagogues and, temples on a regular basis and that includes all the religions and that's expected mm. to go down even further like uh, for instance in germany in holland uh in places like um, uh, denmark it's now only one percent of the population uh wow. attending yeah. churches and and places of worship on a regular basis you know if churches were businesses, they would have been, uh, the managements would have been sacked years ago and <laughs> someone uh, and a whole new management brought in to say, hey, we better do something that people are interested in rather yeah. than keep on plugging away at what is clearly a self-destructive course. Mm. Uh, but, no, it seems like um, these institutions are going to die with their boots on, so to speak. They're mm. going to keep on keeping on. They're not going to listen to people like Jung who've got, you know, things to say or to Buddhism or Hinduism. A lot of my friends um, uh, at university had abandoned Christianity entirely and gone into Buddhism. <coughs> that was very fashionable when I was your age. You said you were 27. When I was 27, um, yeah, most of my friends had gone to the East literally They'd gone to the east. They'd taken the big trip over to India and spent time there and uh, meditated and contemplation, yoga, and found a guru to follow. And uh, those friends of mine, who were now probably in their seventies, uh, just just like the remaining Beatles are in their seventies, um, <laughs> that they're still following the east. And uh, so, you know, it's um, a, a time. Why is the East so attractive? Well, because it, it offers direct experience of the spiritual life, direct experience of the Buddha mind, as it says in Buddhism, or as in Hinduism, direct experience of the Atman, which mm. is the, the God within, um, which uh, connects us, according to Hindu theology and philosophy, with the Brahman, which is their name for God. So um, a lot of people are hungry for all this stuff and um, it's incredible that we've got such a a divided world at the moment. You know, we've got churches saying, where have we gone wrong? But they really don't want to answer that question Mm. because it's going to be too devastating for them. And on the other hand, we've seen an upsurge of interest in spirituality like never before. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.